I'm here with Steph or Steffi or Hef. You're so not Hef. No, not Hef. No, you're not Hef. Oh, well, there was a couple a couple years ago when I was in the States, I was playing college basketball out there. I think it was my senior year, I started getting called Hefe, Heifer. Because um, one summer we used to have to go to summer school every year. So we go in, get our training done, be monitored. But my coach was like, you know what, you've done enough credits for summer school. Go home, enjoy yourself. You know, it's your last year of college basketball. And, you know, I got a job working on a sailboat. So I was doing like these, these three hour tours during the day. You know, we do like three, three tours a day. And uh, yeah, I just got into the whole sailing thing and being a sailor and the whole other side of it of being a bit more social and uh, hitting the nightlife <laughs> and uh, enjoying myself a little too much. Yeah, you could say that. So um, came back to college that fall and um, I had put on a tremendous amount of weight and everyone was like, oh, Steph, you look like you've been working out in the gym, you know? What I was going to say, when you put on weight, you, you're on one of the boats, it, I, I take it it wasn't fat weight, it was muscle weight. Yeah, yeah, because I was hoisting the sails and stuff, but still, it was just to a point where I was just getting too, it was just too big. Now, the, the most obvious thing uh, that you're going to be thinking there is that you look a little bit short to be a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, often people think, oh, she must be playing football or something like that, but yeah. Um, only 166 centimetres, which is quite short for basketball. But What's that, five foot? Five foot six. Five six. Yeah, so, um, yeah, one of the shortest on the team, but uh, definitely hold my own, feisty, get in there. But it doesn't matter with the position that you play your point guard. No, I mean, most other teams have point guards that are about, you know, my size or maybe a bit taller. But, you know, what I don't have in size, I make up in other ways. Uh, I, a bit yeah. of grit. Yeah, a bit of grit. Yeah, a bit of grit, a bit of hustle. So off the court, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, off the court, um, I enjoy food. Very much love my food and it's, it's been challenging. That healthy food. Healthy food, of course, of course. Definitely have changed my habits over the years, especially building up for this preparation for the Olympics. Um, really like thinking about what I can cook and how, I, how well I can cook it to make it taste nice without it, you know. Sushi, you a sushi person? Ah, oh, absolutely love sushi. See, I just knew you'd mm, like sushi. Yes. How did I know that? I don't know, it's weird, it's strange. I just knew that. Mm. Off the court again, are you very much into, into music, film? How do you relax? Yeah, I like to go to the movies and uh, chill out with my iPod and listen to my, with my beats, you know. What's the last uh, film that you saw? Last film I saw, I just went to the movies on our day off actually. We saw, um, ooh, what was it called? It's the one with uh, Zac Efron. I couldn't remember. He looks oh, completely different. Yeah. Yeah, he's put on some muscle. He looks like a man. He's, he's quite handsome. Yeah, he's a very handsome. Yeah, guy. but uh, it was like a Nicholas Sparks yeah. novel. So it was big, you know, he kind of predicted what was coming, but um, it was a good film. I also can't remember what it's called, so I can't help you there. Yeah. Uh, what favorite movie of all time? The Did Goonies. The Goonies. Okay. Yeah. I mean, just watching it from a child, childhood memory is just, I don't know. And even when I watch it now, I still, I still, still love it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, just before I let you go, um, in an ideal world, who did Team GB play in the uh, final? In the ideal world? Yeah. Uh, who yeah. would you like to beat the most? Yeah, I, I think I would resonate what Lauren said. I'd say Russia, without a doubt, because we played them last summer. We, ha we gave them a tough fight. We, we lost by two in the final um, minutes. And yeah, I think it would be a battle and you know, anything's possible on, it, on any given day. Steph, good luck. Cheers. Be lucky, enjoy it. Thanks. And bring that gold home. Yeah. Take care. Cool.